About one decade ago, I was having a conversation with one of my friends. Like me, he is African. Because he is an African, he believes every ugly thing everyone says about Africa. So when he saw me reading books about business and money, he reminded me that we are Africans and not so much can be achieved in Africa. Of course, I knew that he was stupid, but there was no way I could show him what I wanted to do until many years after. Years after this guy told me that nothing much could be achieved in Africa, he visited my home. This time around, I had results to show him that he was wrong because I had already built a business that gave me more money than he ever imagined a guy like me could be making. Ordinarily, you would think that evidence and results should convince a skeptic that things are possible. Unfortunately, evidence or result doesn't make people change their mind. When people are poor, there's hardly anything you can tell them to make them believe that getting rich is possible. And that's why in today's video, I'll be sharing with you how to think like a poor person or how poor people think. I hope that a few people will stop making themselves poor after watching this video. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Nobody knows what is possible. Before our forefathers invented language, it was impossible to speak meaningful words. Before electricity was invented, it was impossible to press a button for the light. Before the automobile was invented, horses were the only possibility. Before the internet was invented, it was impossible to communicate with millions of people from your room. You get my point. Nobody knows what is possible except the people who try and believe they could do the impossible. Those people who think in terms of possibilities are the ones who act, do and try new things. These are the people who make the most mistakes and experience most failures but at the same time, they are the people who have the most successes. Poor people think in terms of fear. They allow fear to rule their life. The majority of the people in the world are like my friend in the previous story. They don't believe in themselves and because they don't believe in themselves, they don't think big and because they don't think big, they do only a few things and make only a few mistakes. Poverty is closely related to the fear of failure. I tell you, I'm yet to meet a single adult who doesn't have some business idea or some ideas about how to make something better. Everyone seems to have some ideas that can make them money. However, what I rarely see are the people who wake up every day to pursue their ideas, make mistakes, fail and remain committed to their dreams. Instead, when most people fail, they tell themselves that what they are trying to achieve is impossible. Then they give up. Poor people allow fear to rule their life. Rich people take action to face their fear. Listen, Mark Cuban said and I quote, It doesn't matter how many times you fail, remember you only need to succeed once. If this quote doesn't change the way you see failure, I'm afraid nothing else will. It doesn't matter how many times you fail, remember you only need to succeed once. Most people in the world think about failure as if it crushes their souls and make them close to death. While in fact, what failure does is make you close to success because the more you fail, the smarter you become and the smarter you become, the closer you are to succeed. Most people don't know this and that is why they are poor. My Road to Success I left school when I was 21 and 6 months and I decided to build a company of my own. I was not surprised when 5 years after I had been to the business world, I was still a broke guy. I expected that to happen. My first 8 years in the business world was, well, you guessed right, failure. I was the poorest guy amongst my friends and I was the most stupid individual anywhere I went because everyone else thought I was crazy. But I knew something which most people don't know. And that is, it doesn't matter how many times you fail, remember you only need to succeed once. I had my first business breakthrough after 8 years of failure. And yes, my life changed completely from that moment. From the day I came across the idea that gave me my first breakthrough till today, my life has drastically changed. In no time, I moved from being the stupid guy everyone pitied to become the lucky guy everyone wants to be friends with. It doesn't matter how many times you fail. Remember, 
you only need to succeed once. Stop seeing failure as a situation that is drawing you closer to death. Instead, start seeing failure as situations that are drawing you closer to life and success. Because it doesn't matter how many times you fail, your single success will outweigh a thousand failures. Think about it. Thomas Edison reportedly failed 10,000 times when trying to invent the light bulb. He only needed to succeed once and that is it. Though Henry Ford probably made thousands of mistakes and experienced some painful failures and setbacks trying to build his automobile company, he only needed some breakthroughs and all other failures wouldn't matter. It doesn't matter how many times you fail, remember, you only need to succeed once. Where I got my courage from Growing up, I noticed that I seemed to be more courageous than most of my friends. I would have killed myself long ago because I had tried some really stupid things but luckily, I escaped those deaths. Now, when I became a little mature, I no longer tried silly things any longer but that doesn't make me less adventurous. So, where do I get my courage from? You see, one of the things I do which most people I know don't do is that I read about people who have done great things with their lives. You see, if you have the habit of learning about how other people achieve what they achieve, you will have the courage to take risks and face your fear. The reason for this is very simple. If you study the lives of successful people long enough, you'll see that all of the time, every success usually has a hundred failures as its foundation. There are no two ways about it. The way most successful people become successful is by failing hundreds of times then succeeding once. Biographies of the most successful people will easily show you this and make you strong. And that's the reason why our team has launched a new YouTube channel which was designed to share with you the biographies and life stories of the most successful people in our world and even the villains. We call this new channel Fame TV. Look at the description box to join other smart people like you who have already subscribed to the Fame TV. Destroy the habit of fear I don't know whether I'm right but I seem to believe that fear is a habit. You see, when people start taking action, it's usually very difficult but the more actions you take towards your dream, the less mental pain you experience when next you want to take action. In other words, the more time you face your fears, the less fearful you'll become. That's why you see some people who appear to be fearless while in the real sense of it, no human being is fearless. We all have fear but most people don't break their habit of fear and because these people exercise fear again and again, their muscle of fear gets stronger each time and that's why they become so fearful that they cannot pursue their dreams. It doesn't matter how many times you fail, remember you only need to succeed once. If there are two things I want you to take away from this video, those two things will be. First, fear is the enemy of all progress. If we can dare to move, we can do more, achieve more and become more successful. The second thing I'd like you to take away from this video is that fear is a habit. Like the worst habit, the more you practice fear, the more fearful you'll become. The opposite is also true. The more you take action, the more you want to take actions and the less you have fear of failure. Poor people think about what could go wrong because they think too much about what could go wrong. They take little or no action and because they have little failures, they have little successes. To increase our successes, we have to increase our mistakes and failures. It doesn't matter how many times you fail, remember, you only need to succeed once. If you love to get inspiration from the people who have achieved great things with their lives, We've created a new channel to help you get that and that is called Fame TV. Fame TV will give you interesting and inspiring stories of the most successful people in the world and even some villains. Look at the description box to join the Fame TV. We love you.